Hello, hunks, and welcome back to another homunculoid review. Today we're going to be looking at the World of Nintendo Villager Series 2 3. This came out around 2016, so it is a bit of an older figure. Let's get it open. And here we are with the figure. I really wish uh, Jack Specific would go back to making more Nintendo figures more than their uh, Nintendo ones. Or Mario ones, rather. Because these things are great. It looks like he came right out of the game. Tons of fun poses you can put them in. Super cartoony. Aw, oh, this guy's great. Just any pose you can get them in just looks fun, silly. Well, let's look at the articulation proper, I guess. His head is on a swivel. You can get a little bit of up and down. No swivel at the waist. Uh, this is as far as his shoulders can go down, but they can go around a little bit of up. Elbows go up to a little bit a little below 90 degrees. He's got swivel at the hips and the knee. I guess it's pretty good. Better than better than expected with a guy like this. He's a bit top heavy, so he's going to be a bit hard to stand up. And he also comes with a leaf, one of the items from the game. Kind of hard to get him to hold it. You could uh, put it around here, maybe make it look like he's holding it up. Look at this guy, it's pretty great. The Nintendo shirt, everything's printed on really nice. Same with the pants. I mean, mind you, this guy came as like a $10 figure. Uh, I got him for $11 on an eBay auction. I've seen him also on eBay for $14, $15, $16. I'd say if you can get him for the right price, he's definitely worth a pickup. Now, the only thing I have with me to compare him to is the World of Nintendo Shy Guy, who is a bit shorter. This guy is listed as four and a quarter inches. But yeah, this guy is really awesome. Really happy that he's part of my collection now. He's gonna look super fun on the shelf. Yeah, definitely gets a recommendation from me, and thank you for watching.